Welcome to your week in gaming with me, GD, the place for the hottest news, UK charts and new releases of the week. In this week's news is Valve taking the third game dive, Clementine returns for Walking Dead Season 2, Saints Row 4 goes gold and shares off a season pass, also Sony and Microsoft to host events at Gamescom in Germany next month. First in the news this week, a website of unknown origin has been uncovered that displays a countdown clock for Left 4 Dead 3. With the countdown ending on the 21st of August, the day that Gamescom begins in Germany. The site also contains Source 2 logo as well as Steam's and Valve's, however Valve has refused to comment on rumours and speculations. Left 4 Dead 2, currently the last title of the franchise, was released almost 4 years ago and rumours of a third instalment has been appearing since the beginning of the year. Last month, fan website Valve Time uncovered information from Steam's database that both Left 4 Dead 3 and Half-Life 3 are in development. Laidlaw, a writer at Valve, posted a quick video and it's no doubt going to get fans hopes even higher than the likely misleading website. But Valve fans shouldn't be surprised at this point. It becomes pretty common that every few months or so another rumour pops up that alleges to have the details about when one of these new games will arrive. And while it's been mostly Half-Life 3 related for the past few years, Left 4 Dead 3 may be a new thing to rustle up fans. But still, it wouldn't be a huge surprise if Valve reveal a new game for either series at this point. Left 4 Dead 2 was released all the way back in 2009 and Half-Life even earlier. Sequels are long overdue, especially in the climate that most games are developed in these days. With technology getting ready to move upwards yet again with new consoles, many expect Valve to release both a new engine and either one of these games would be a great billboard for Source 2. As for now though, we'll just have to deal with teasers for the time being. Also in the news this week, Demolition Derby mode is set to make a return to the Grid franchise, Codemaster has announced. In a new blog post, the developer revealed that the returning game mode from the original Grid would be available to download all Grid 2 owners at no extra charge. The decision to reintroduce the mode was apparently 100% driven by feedback from the community, though no exact release window has been confirmed. The upcoming community patch is set to resolve many of the most common complaints from fans of the game was also detailed. Check out what changes are on the way in the official post in the details below. Next in the news, Telltale has confirmed that one of its main characters in the Walking Dead game, Clementine, will be returning for the second season. Speaking at a panel at the San Diego Comic Con, Telltale said that Clementine will definitely be part of the Walking Dead's upcoming second season. Telltale is aiming to release the first chapter of its second season of The Walking Dead later this year. Elsewhere in the panel, Telltale also said the fate of accompanying character Kenny will be explored. A teaser image of what appeared to be Clementine sitting in the rain next to another child was also shown. Telltale also said the season 2 of The Walking Dead would launch on the Vita on the same day as other platforms, unlike the delay with season 1. Also in the news this week, publisher Deep Silver revealed earlier this week that the upcoming over-the-top open-world action game Saints Row 4 has gone gold and fans are now able to pre-order a season pass for the planned DLC for around about €10 Euros or £8 at participating retailers. The season pass for the much-awaited Saints Row 4 will include two brand new mission packs and a season pass exclusive rectifier anal probe weapon which will help you, the President of the United States, get the inside information of your enemies as you save Earth from a dangerous alien infestation. Included in the Season Pass is the Director's Cut of the previously announced Enter the Dominatrix DLC, a tongue-in-cheek vision of what this content was originally going to be like, along with a second mission pack coming in late 2013. Season passes will be available for purchase on all platforms and include upcoming add-on content worth more than 15 euros or 12 pounds. 
Centro 4 launches on current gen consoles and PC on August the 20th in North America and August the 23rd in the rest of the world. Finally in the news this week, Microsoft will host a showcase event at Gamescom 2013 on August the 20th, where specifics of the company's self-publishing policies for Xbox One will be disclosed. Microsoft Corporate Vice Presidents Phil Spencer and Phil Harrison will co-host the event which will take place at Dock One in Germany. Earlier this week, Mark Witten, a Corporate Vice President of Xbox, said that the company would have more details about the Xbox One self-publishing capabilities to share at Gamescom. Microsoft chose not to participate at Gamescom 2012 or even held a press conference at the event since 2005, but confirmed earlier this year that it would attend Gamescom 2013, where the recently delayed Kinect Sports rivals will be playable. Microsoft will also be at the Tokyo Game Show later this year. Also, not to be outshined, Sony will host its Gamescom press conference on August the 20th also. The platform holder has confirmed the event will take place at 6pm UK time. Sony conferences are typical at Gamescom, with the firm having used the event to announce the first slim PS3, hardware price cuts and major software titles. With Sony expecting Microsoft to tackle Europe more aggressively, it was indicated by a Sony insider that PlayStation is prepared to do whatever it takes to ensure success in Europe. Its first step being to ensure there is no PS4 delay across Europe. While Xbox One has given a November launch window, Sony is yet to be more specific than its projected holiday 2013 launch for PS4. Industry analysis have deemed it in both firms best interest to launch first in order to grab an early spot over the competitors. So hope and expect a release date from both at the event, especially with the year ending getting ever closer. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. And if you want to know if your game has made the top 20 for this week, either go to yourgame.com or click on the link in the details below. Unfortunately this week there is not any new releases. That's it for your week in gaming for the week ending 27th of July 2013. For more news go to yourgame.com or follow us on Twitter or Facebook in the links in the details below. Also if you like the show click on the subscribe button and the like button below and remember to tune in next week for more of the hottest news, UK charts and the releases of the week right here on Your Week in Gaming. <laughs>